Your Airtable base helps you orchestrate every aspect of your workflow, tracking all the essential details and data all in one place. But when it comes to collaborating with teammates who need to view specific information or make an update to keep work moving, access to all those details in a base can get overwhelming fast. Introducing Interface Designer, a brand new way to work together in Airtable. With Interface Designer, you can create visual interactive interfaces your stakeholders can view and take action on, built on top of your existing base. In this video, you'll learn how to create and customize your first interface. Let's jump in and start designing. First, think about who you're building an interface for and what information they need. For example, your leadership needs high-level visibility into how each team is performing against company goals and objectives. Right now, this information is stored across multiple tables in your company hub. Based on the needs of your leadership team, you'll want to design an interface where they can view and interact with the information they need to know to stay informed and take action. To start designing, select the interface button in the upper left corner of your base. Then give your interface a name and select Create New. You can start designing with a pre-made layout or create from scratch with a blank interface. Record review is ideal for reviewing and updating records. Dashboards can show important metrics, charts, and timelines. And record summary gives a detailed overview of each record. Let's try building something from scratch to see what's possible, starting with a blank layout. With your layout selected, now it's time to start building your first interface. Adding elements to visualize the information from your base is as simple as drag and drop. You can choose a static element to give structure to your interface. Here, we use the text element to add an informative title. Then, add elements that dynamically pull information straight from your base. Add a timeline to visualize records over time like what team initiatives are happening when. Add multiple number elements to summarize key metrics that are important to see at a glance. The record picker element lets you select a record from a table in your base. Here, we chose the team table. Then add elements that display details based on the specific record selected. In this case, create a snapshot of each team's performance. Automatically surface related details, like the team lead or objectives by status in a pie chart. For each element, you can also determine which should be view only or editable, reducing the risk of any accidental changes while still sharing important context your stakeholders need to know. Any updates to editable elements, like adding a comment, will reflect back to your underlying base. Once you've surfaced all the relevant details your stakeholders need, customize how they're displayed. Add text headers to provide context. And color backgrounds to differentiate sections. Once you've finished your interface design, it's time to publish. Preview your interface to test out what your stakeholders will see and can interact with once it's live. From this dropdown, leadership can select a team name and view their progress, while also seeing an overview of every team in this chart. Once it looks good to go, select Publish. Then share your new interface with your leaders with an email invitation or direct link so they can start viewing and updating details all in one place. Translate a complex workflow to a clear, actionable display for any stakeholder with Interface Designer. Go ahead and try designing your first interface today.